Hello all, welcome back to another video and welcome to Sammy G's World of Cinema. Today on the channel, I am going to be continuing on my review series of the Planet of the Apes film series. Today we are going to be taking a look at the third instalment in Escape from the Planet of the Apes directed by Don Taylor. He directed Jack of Diamonds, The Island of Dr. Maru, Damien Omen 2, Echoes of a Summer, and we have Roddy McDowell reprising his role as Dr. Cornelius, Kim Hunter reprising her role as Dr. Zira. Escape feels like a bit of a more of a grounded drama piece, political theme. Dr. Cornelius and Milo crash landing into this like ocean spacecraft. They are tr transferred and kept under observation Los Angeles Zoo. They prove to these two scientists that Zero and Cornelius prove that they are very um, like-minded chimpanzees. They go to a commission meeting they talk a bit about their backstory they prove to speak as well Cyrus is the first one to stand up and speak and then Cornelius stands up and, and he he says I can speak only if if she allows me there was a little bit of banter thrown in there but do lie um in this like testimony to say that they escaped their planet when a war broke out from the gorillas they cover up the fact that they have no recollection of taylor they were acquainted with in the original 2000 years backwards taylor at this point is in deep hibernation where zero cornelius come from new taylor and they did like um perform um, experiments on humans. Dr. Lewis and Dr. Stephanie Branton advise Zero and Cornelius to like keep this like as, as, a, as a secret in the time being. Zero and Cornelius are in the public eye, welcomed by society from then on. Then they are like um, celebrities. Dr. Otto Hasleen discovers that Zira is pregnant. Dr. Otto Hasleen discovers in the, the meeting Zira didn't finish this sentence. What she actually does during those experiments and then he becomes deeply concerned. Zira and Cornelius are a great threat in Earth's future to make sure the apes can't reproduce in order to alter the apes taking power in the future and overpowering the human race and then this war doesn't break out most of all to stop Earth's destruction. What are my thoughts on escape from the planets of the apes? Like beneath the planet of the apes, I do genuinely have a real soft spot for this sequel. In terms of the cinematography where we had like Ape City in the first two films, they don't mind the location choice here Los Angeles and there's like this distant ocean whereas the first two films real had that um wonder in terms of a visual treat and I thought Kim Hunter is Zira she probably steals the show the actor who played Dr Hasleen I thought he put on a really good performance Later into the film, you really come to detest his character with some of the rash decisions that this character makes. I really liked some of the side characters in this. I thought um, Dr. Stephanie Barton, the actress, she did a good job, as well as Dr. Lewis and the guy 
who ran the circus, um, Almando, I think it is. Not to take away from Jerry Goldsmith as a composer, that man has done loads of amazing scores to prove what that man is capable of. I thought the score here was just okay. It had a very different feel about it compared to the first two entries into the original five film run. Jerry Goldsmith's scoring in the OG really fantastic. To begin with, it's, it's kind of charmful. We were just focusing on Zira and Cornelius, you know, like living a, a happy life as the film progresses, that, that there are big consequences that are coming their way. I did really like some of the um, the costume designs as with um, Zira and Cornelius. Some of the score did have a bit of a James Bond sort of feel. The final act is, did remind me a little bit of um, Harbour sequence in Get Carter. As we didn't get to see loads of Dr. Milo. I liked um, the scene where um, Zira gets a bit drunk. I thought the circus looked good. We didn't get to see, as I say, loads of action in this film. Ended brilliantly with the last shot of the film as well, tying greatly with the forthcoming film Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. I'm going to give Escape from the Planet of the Apes a 6.5 out of 10. Charming um, sequel that does go to an extreme note later on in, in the film. I thought there was some great performances in here, some great production value. It has some great like scripts and a good length of screen time with both Xera and Cornelius, two of the most beloved characters into this film series. Mike Cinema Axeman is a big fan of this film. Richard G Reviews, Rob at um, Exploitation Reviews did a cracking collab discussion on this. I will leave a link in the description. Let me know your thoughts. Escape from the Planet of the Apes. What is your favourite Planet of the Apes film? What's your thoughts on the Planet of the Apes film series? So thanks for watching. Cheers for stopping by. And until next time, I'll see you for the next video. Bye bye.